Hey what's up guys, Codeforge here, welcome to the next video. Today we will learn how to use remote debugging in the IntelliJ IDE. Remote debugging is the technique which allows us to connect our source code with the Java process which is running on the different machine. After attaching source code to the process, we will be able to debug our application like we do it locally in our IDE. So we will be able to use the breakpoint, stop our code, debug it step by step. Also, we'll be able to use watches to check out the variable values. So remote debugging is especially useful when you want to check out what is going on on your different environment or you are not able to reproduce the bug because setting up all the data is time consuming or we are not able to do it for some reasons. Okay, let's get started. You can see on the screen that I have opened student service and it is the web service which we have created in one of the videos. And in the first place, we want to build the fat char. So we have to go to the Maven and we have to, let's say, clean in the first place the project. So the target should disappear, yes. And we want to install it and it will build our application and create the fat char which can be deployed on the uh, different environment. It can be testing, staging or production environment. To debug application remotely, we have to start it with special arguments and we can find these arguments over here and we have to click edit configurations. You can see that I have already created one remote configuration, but we will create another one from the scratch. So first of all, we want to click this add button over here and over here we want to find remote and select it. So we click it and we can see that we have a new configuration. We can see that it is unnamed right now, so we can change the name so it will be easier later to find it. And let's say it will be service remote debug, for example. And also let's remove the old one. The most important part over here for now is this command line arguments for remote JVM over here, which we want to copy. And we'll use this argument to start our application from the FAT jar. You can also change the JDK version from here. We have different options, but I'm using Java 8, so I will stick with this JDK 5 to 8. The most important argument is this one over here, the address because this is the port which will be exposed by the application for the remote debugging session. For now, we can close it up and we want to start our application. We already have the fat jar, so we can go over here to the target and here is our jar. We want to right click it and we'll open it in the terminal. So we want to go over here and open in the terminal. I have few extra sessions, I will close it and yeah. Let's imagine that we are right now on the testing environment and we want to start our new student service to check out it will behave correctly on this environment. And the first thing we have to do is to start this service in the debug mode. So we want to say Java to start our jar file. Now we have to provide the arguments which we have copied from the remote configuration and it is very important to put them before we specify which jar we want to start. So I will paste them and now we want to point which jar we want to start. So we will say dash jar and we'll start the GS REST service. Now we can hit enter and we can see at the very top of it that we have this listening for transport DT socket at address 5005. So our application is exposing this port for the remote debugging session. That's good. So we can scroll to the bottom and yeah, our application is working on the port 8080. Great. Now we are going back from the testing environment to the developer machine and we want to attach our source code to the student service which is working on this testing environment. So we have to start remote debugging session. To do it, we will go back to the configuration over here and we'll go quickly through this list. 
we want to attach our source code to the remote JVM. So this debugger mode is correct. And the transport is set to socket, so it's also good. We will leave it like this. Over here in the host input, we'll leave localhost because we are doing everything locally. But in the case uh, when your application, which we have started locally, is working on different environment, for example, testing environment, over here you want to specify the name of the server where the application is working. We also have this port input 5005. We'll leave it like this since we have used this command over here to start our jar. And this is not the port on which our student service is working, but this is the port which is exposed by the student service for the debugging session. Since this port is matching the port uh, over here in the address of the JVM argument, it is all good, so we can click OK. Before we start uh, our debugging session, let's first check out if our service is working. So I have already opened the service on the port 8080 and it's also exposing the Swagger documentation, so we can check it out over here and we have one student controller over here so let's test it out we will add a new student so we go to the post and we want to say try it out let's add john doe so the first name will be john and the last name will be doe and we can click execute and we can see that in the console the hibernate made some inserts so now let's go to the all students and let's check out if it's really added. So we say try it out, execute, and we can see that the student John Doe has been added. Now let's say that we want to debug this post method. So we go to the IntelliJ over here. We want to find our student controller. So we go to the Java students controller, student controller. And over here we want to find our post method and it's over here so let's put the breakpoint on the line 33. now we can simply start our uh, remote debugging session by uh, selecting the proper configuration it's already there so it is the service remote debug and we have to click the de debug option and after a few seconds we can see that we have connected to the target vm with the address localhost 5005 let's add another student to debug our post method so we want to go back to the swagger documentation of our student service and over here we want to add another student so let's say this time it will be tom smith and we want to hit execute we can see that our debugging is started so we can move it we hit the breakpoint in the line 33 of the add student method and you can see that it is looking exactly the same way like the normal debugging. We can see in the variables view that the first name is set to Tom, the last name is set to Smith, so it is all good. We can jump to the another step, so it is on the repository safe right now and we can jump inside but we'll just uh, go through this and click the play and if we go back to our swagger documentation and scroll up and execute get all students we can see that we have tom smith added to the database so yeah this is how you want to set up your remote debugging in the intellij I know there was a lot of talking but I wanted to explain everything so it will be easier for you to get started with it and in some cases this remote debugging is very useful so make sure to test it out and this is all for this video so thank you for watching remember about liking and subscribing see you next time